Welcome to an even newer dating game, Nashville's own televised dating service. Woo! We have some dynamite gentlemen on today's show. They're looking for love with a lovely lady, so let's meet them now. Bachelor number one is a Sagittarius from Shoebuckle, Pennsylvania, who's looking for a classy woman with a poor sense of smell. He enjoys collecting and polishing rare gems. He is also a co-host of the show Talk To Me Now. Welcome, David Bermudez. Hello. Bachelor number two is a Libra seeking a woman who's driven, adventurous, and grounded. He enjoys games and drinks with friends and says his sexiest qualities are his lips, eyes, and hands. Coming all the way from hip East Nashville, Tennessee, say hello to Jules Charlemagne. <laughs> Bachelor number three is a Scorpio who's Chicago born and Tennessee raised. He spends his time appreciating and creating sounds and images. He's looking for an adventurous, secure woman who's an explorer of the world, of the mind, and in the bedroom. Meet James Cathcart. <laughs> of course, our bachelorette doesn't know anything about our bachelors, as she's been isolated in a soundproof booth backstage. Let's bring her out. Our bachelorette comes from Chicago, Illinois, and melts faces as a bassist in the band Fancy Tramp. She is a Capricorn who loves record collecting, reading, and movies, and says she's looking for a man skilled in carpentry who can cook for her and who likes cats. She is Katie Banye. So how are you, Katie? I'm great. Great. Feeling groovy. Me too. Now, you don't know anything about these young bachelors. You're just going to choose them based on their answers. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to meet them? Oh, yeah. Let's hear from them. Say hello, bachelor number one. Hi there, Katie. Bachelor number two. Hey, Katie. Bachelor number three. Hi, Katie. How's it going? That's fantastic. <laughs> Now, remember that bachelors not chosen for this date will receive a groovy Grecian Secret eyebrow shaping kit for men, courtesy of Grecian Secret. Ooh. Katie, are you ready to get to know the bachelors a bit more? I think so. All right, here's so your here's questions. A sideburn kit. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and ask the first one. Bachelor number one, if you were an animal, what animal would you be? Uh, well, Katie, first off, I want to say you have a sexy voice that's really turning me on over here. Um, if I were one animal, I'd be a cat. I know you're a cat lover. I really uh, identify with the feline, um, with felines. And uh, you sound like a sexy cat to me. Ooh. Bachelor number two, what is your most hated musical instrument? Most hated musical instrument? Um, I'm a musician, so I've been around a lot of other musicians playing really crappy instruments, but I'd probably have to say an electric bagpipe. <laughs> it's by far my most hated instrument. Okay, same, <laughs> same question for bachelor number three. Well, if I had to choose a most hated instrument, uh, I'd probably have to go with um, the electric guitar. I can't think of any bands that use the electric guitar that are any good. Um, it's kind of a lame instrument. No one really looks cool playing it. Uh, so yeah, you know, that or drums or bass or vocals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Bachelor number one, if we were performing as a duo and I froze, what would you do to save the show? I'd melt your heart. <laughs> cool. Same, que <laughs> same question, Bachelor number two. Well, I guess I would just kick into a rock and drum solo and let you dance it out until you're ready to come back in and rock the rest of the show. All right. <laughs> bachelor number three, if we met on the street, what would you do or say to get me to talk to you? Uh, what street? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Is it a highway? Let's say mm, Nolansville. Oh, Nolansville. Well, let me tell you, there is a killer little pupusa place just up the way called Los Americanos. I think it's delish. Uh, Two dollar pupusas and Mexican Coke all night long. That would be my offer to you. 
<laughs> and maybe a little hot sauce on the side, because uh, that's sort of like a sexual innuendo. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, that sounds <coughs> yummy. Mm. <laughs> Bachelor number one, the Beatles. Which one do you marry? Which one do you murder? And which one do you become? Who are the Beatles? <laughs> They're a band from England. <laughs> who, were, uh, who are the members? Uh, Paul, John, Ringo, and George. What are their last names? The Beatles. Uh, the Beatles. Do George Beatle, um, <laughs> Mary Paul Beatle, uh, murder Ringo Beatle, and what was the last? That was it. There's only three. Oh, so <laughs> oh who would you want to become? John Beatle. Okay. Same question, number two. Oh, goodness. Um, wait, do, do marry, murder, and become? Yes. Obviously, do John. Um, probably marry Paul. He's got a good, well, he has a track record with it, so. Um, mm, murder George just because he's too good. He's too good, and he's already dead, so. Right? <laughs> and uh, I, guess so. I guess become I mean, Ringo because he'll live off the royalties longer than anybody else. Okay, so you would have, you you would marry a dead person, though, is what you're saying. Well, sure. I'm, okay. I can still get the tax benefits, right? Maybe. Okay. It's legal in like 11 states now. <laughs> Bachelor number three. If I were blind and deaf, what would I most notice about you? Wow, that's tough. <clears throat> but let it be known that I did find Helen Keller to be very, very fine, and uh, though I do appreciate a woman who speaks up and voices her opinion, in this case, uh, I, I would be your voice. I, 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 would, uh, I would be, uh, boy, I'm fumbling on this one. I don't know. I would kind of just pity you. <laughs> But my answer, <laughs> but my answer is merely that I would pity her. Okay. All right. Fair All right, bachelor number one, same question. Oh, good. I've been using the same cologne since middle school. It's not a good competition. You probably smell me coming. All right. What cologne is it? Nautica competition. <laughs> <laughs> Bachelor number two. You're in a band. What would be your real job to support me? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, what would be my real job to support you? Yes. Probably the real job that I have right now, slinging delicious weenies at I Dream of Weenie in East Nashville. <laughs> mm. Sell out. Bachelors number three. Imagine we had a date plan, but my cat got sick, and I had to rush her to the vet. What would you do? Uh, that's, that's heartbreaking. Um, I don't like to think that I would make my plans get in the way of you and your pet's well-being, but uh, if it was looking like you were in for a long night at the vet while your cat over undergoes some pretty risky surgery, I'd be there for you. Uh, I'd maybe pick up some $2 pupusas from Los Americanas and bring them to you, <laughs> along with some hot sauce, because that's sort of a sexual innuendo. Okay. We'd Bachelor eat them at the vet, so that's clear. But we're not, we not, I'm not making you leave the vet. We're going to eat them <laughs> at the vet. All right. Thank you. If they'll let us. Bachelor number one, if you, <laughs> sorry. If you were invisible, would you just watch me in my room? Number one. Uh, we've never met, um, but you sound beautiful. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Oh, that buzzer sound means that we're out of time. You're going to have to pick which bachelor you want to go on your date with. Oh, no. Uh. What do you think? <laughs> think about it for a minute. It's really important. Who are you going to choose, Katie? Oh, man. I'll choose number... Now this is based solely on their answers, <laughs> the eroticism of their voices, maybe how gently gentle they sound. Three. I'm gonna go with Bachelor number three because in your face, uh, in your face. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Now tell us why you picked that well, person. <clears throat> number three is my favorite number. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Good enough for me. I'll take it. And that's that. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what else. You're a sharp tech, Katie Banyang. <laughs> <laughs> well, before we meet number three, Katie let's Banyang. meet the bachelors you didn't choose. Now, bachelor number one is a talk show host and man about town who enjoys spinning records at parties. He's David Bermudez. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, let's all be good sports here, David. Bachelor number two is an expert griller and drummer who loves games and day drinking. It's Jules Charlemagne. Yeah. Oh, hi. <laughs> now, remember that if you're interested in either of these gentlemen, their addresses and phone numbers will be on our website. So check <laughs> that out on Facebook. So you lads had some really fantastic answers, and to show our appreciation, you'll both be receiving state-of-the-art egg cubers for all of your square egg-making needs. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll be in my dressing room later if you want. <laughs> both of you. OK. <laughs> Goodbye now. Goodbye now. You can leave. Right. Oh, uh. <laughs> OK. <laughs> All right, are you ready to meet the bachelor you chose? I think so. I am. Woo. Bachelor number three is a filmmaker who spends his time dreaming and always chooses biscuits over cornbread. He's James Cathcart. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. You guys want to hear? Want to hear about your swinging date? Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> Get ready to sail the high seas on the seminal vessel, a luxury cruise ship. You'll explore the mysterious reefs of the Bermuda Triangle while enjoying championship shuffleboard and cotton polyfiber blend polo shirts. You're both sure to have a swell time with your dating game chaperone. Wow. <laughs> and also, you'll both be receiving a gift certificate to the Gold Rush that you can enjoy together. Thank you, Gold yeah. Rush. <laughs> all right. Congratulations, you two. Let's wish all of our viewers luck and love, and we'll see you next time on an even newer dating game. I did mine early. Yay.